Hey guys, gearing up for the 9th Annual Theodore Payne Native Plant Garden Tour coming up this weekend, April 14th and 15th. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, it's not too late to buy tickets. And join Urban Dirt to view 37 residential gardens celebrating native plants, smart gardening practices, and the natural history in our region. And if you're not able to make it, it's okay. I'll take some clips and share them with you on a future episode. All the details are coming up. I'm David Walrod, and you're watching Urban Dirt. Wow, stunning. Joining me today in garden number 15 is Lisa Novick, Director of Outreach and K-12 Education. Lisa, welcome to Urban Dirt. Thank you so much. And I also have the very garden designer for garden number 15, Andreas Hessing. Andreas, welcome to the show. Thank you. And you guys, thank you both for being here. This is a wonderful thing. Um, Lisa, before we start talking about the big event this mm -hmm. weekend, I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about the Theodore Payne Foundation. The foundation is a nursery and education center. We're located in Sun Valley. Uh, please come out and visit. It's a fabulous place. We have hiking trails, a nursery with in informational signage on all the plants to help you know exactly what to put in your garden. Excellent. And then, of course, this 37 Garden Tour is a way to get people out, get them inspired by beautiful gardens, and excited about putting natives in their own home landscape. What do you want people to gain from this experience this weekend? I would like people to see that you can have a gorgeous garden with flowers and different kinds of uh, trees with seeds and berries that feed the birds, all for one seventh the water and much less money and maintenance that a non-native garden usually costs. Excellent. And you're no stranger to this event. Actually, your own home personal garden was an entry in this garden tour last year. Right. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, how does a garden designer or a homeowner get their garden to be featured on this tour? They should contact Lily Singer, uh, who is the head of the garden tour, and she will come out and visit the garden, give the people a, a questionnaire asking if they have what percentage of natives uh, versus non-natives, and then uh, through that she'll choose the best gardens, either because of their location or to get a difference in garden types, either slopes or shade gardens, clay soil gardens, so that people can choose when they're on the tour to visit the gardens that best help them figure out what to plant in their home garden. Excellent. And um, of course, that brings me to this question. We have 37 gardens to tour mm -hmm. over a weekend. How do we best go about that? Uh, how do we conduct this tour? It's self-guided, right? Right. So what you should do is go to the website, which is theodorepayne.org, -E and click on the garden tour, and look at all the pictures of the gardens in the various places. So if you live on the east side, I would stay primarily in the gardens on the east side because that'll best show you your plant palette. And then choose clusters of gardens. Say, if you live in Pasadena, choose all the gardens around Pasadena. Or if you are um, in the other valley, uh, choose those gardens because they have clay soil over there. Excellent. And, and we have two days away, so is there any time to get tickets? Yes, and so what you should do for tickets is either call the foundation at 818-768-1802 or you can order them online at theodorepain.org. And this garden is one of the gardens that you can pick up your booklet um, on Saturday, or you can go to the foundation and get the booklet. Okay, and I have one last question for both of you. If you had a uh, favorite to pick among all the native plants, what would it be? The California Bay Laurel tree. This um, tree is found in all the local mountains in the canyons and it has a wonderfully aromatic scent that it's, is a bit like peppermint and bubblegum. And- um, Well, who couldn't want that? <laughs> I love it. So, um, and the, the Tongva use this to cure headaches. So it's, a, it's just a wonderful, wonderful plant. Wow, then everybody does need that around for sure. In fact, before the interview, I saw you eating on a little bit of that. Were, were you getting a headache? <laughs> no, it just tastes good. <laughs> and then you stuck something up your nose. I'm no, not no, sure. No. <laughs> Andreas, what about you? What's your favorite native? The oak tree. 
the oak tree right there. And why do you like that so much? Uh, because of all the life it uh, promotes. It's the anchor of all of this. A pillar among natives, definitely. <laughs> well, thank you both for being down here. I'm definitely excited about this weekend. We hope to see as many people out here as we can have. And, uh, you know, if you see Urban Dirt, flag us down because I'd be glad to say hello. In the meantime, go to www.nativeplantgardentour.org. Is that right? That's right. Okay, I got it right. Everyone, thank you for watching Urban Dirt. Thank you guys for being here. We'll see you in the mud.